and it's and I hate when people say the, the people are saying, oh, well, it's just property. It's property. Property is not more important than a life. But you got to understand that property is a part of life because a lot of these properties are attached to people's livelihoods. And a lot what people don't realize is when the L.A. riots occurred and they lost their properties, many of those people never got those those businesses back. So their livelihood was damaged for the rest of their life. And the economic impact that that has on a community that's already hurting is devastating. So when people say that property is no more, not more important than a life, they're they're fooling themselves because if we want to stop being oppressed, you need money in your community. You need the money in your community if you don't want to be oppressed anymore. And people don't realize that. And so as we're driving here, one of the craziest things to me, man, is I made a phone call to my wife right before we left. I said, hey, babe, we're going to San Bernardino. And people out here know what San Bernardino is about. They're like, I'm like, hey, we're going to San Bernardino. I was like, just shoot some prayers out. So she prays. And, and my wife has been, shout out to my wife. God bless her heart. She has been an emotional roller coaster the last couple of weeks just because dad hasn't been home. She's watching TV, seeing people saying, I hate cops. I hate this. Knowing our son wants to be a police officer. She's in fear for my life. All this other stuff. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, man, I'm literally driving to a war zone right now. I am going to a war zone. And the most frustrating part about it all was knowing that a lot of these people on social media that say all this crap that inside all this stuff, they're probably at home chilling right now. So so I'm driving there with all my partners. We get into town. And we pull up to the police station there, and the police station has F-12 spray painted all over the building. They have signs. One of the signs, they have a few signs I actually took pictures of when I was out there. Um, one of the signs said, police are state-sanctioned killers. The other one that said, uh, black people have every right to burn down a country they never built for free, or that, that they built for free. Um, these are signs plastered all around the station. Um, you can, and, and. Earlier, they had taken over the lot. They tried to take over the lobby of the police station. So initially, our job was just to uh, guard the police station. Now, I want to paint the picture even more so for you. So my city police department is there. You also had Redlands Police Department, Riverside Police Department, Ontario Police Department, Upland Police Department, Montclair Police Department, San Bernardino County Police Department, San, or Riverside, or um, Redland, um, or what do you call it, um, San Bernardino Police Department, like Menifee Police Department, which is far from us. You had police departments from all over the region in this one city, and because I grew up in the city, I know the city from border to border. So they're telling me, hey, we're up on this street, and they just lit this store on fire, and they're breaking in. And then they're like, hey, this Walmart just went up in flames and it's on the exact opposite side of the city. So some of my partners, not knowing the city like that, I think they might have been under the, the impression that, oh, OK, it's centralized. In my mind, I'm like, this is the whole city, which San Bernardino County in and of itself is the largest county in the, in the country. The city of San Bernardino is one of the largest cities in the country. So I'm thinking, I'm like, man, this is one of the largest cities out right now. And. The whole city is going up like this. And a majority of my family still lives in this city. My grandmother, my aunt, my uncles, my cousins all live in this city still. So then as we're standing at the police station, guarding the police station, we hear on our radio, hey, officer safety, uh, there's a Mustang driving around and they're shooting high caliber rifles outside the windows. Oh my gosh, so at that moment, I'm like, OK, I need to sling a rifle around my neck just in case they roll past here. So then, again, you fast forward, officer safety, um, we just made entry into Big Five and all of the guns are gone. G all of them. So then you have shooting going on. And then all while this is going on, you have people, F the, F the police, F-12, ACAP, all this stuff, man. So the emotions that are just going through my mind, like as a black man in America, as a police officer in America, as a Christian in America, I'm seeing the devil's work in place, in play. 